So how did you got the job? Be honestly, I want to say like I have seen a post on your page. How long the training period was? Uh, for us, uh, the training period was one month. We will start with your brief introduction. So like uh, I am Sapun Pari. Basically, I have born and brought up in Kanpur, and like I have done my tenth and twelfth from here. And like regarding my graduation, I have done my BCA. and there onwards i have learned uh, like various programming languages but then i when i wanted to corporate the skill doesn't came into use i went into networking like basically so there i have gone into ccna training and from there like i am working in there data center networking mm mm-hmm. okay so currently in which company you are working so like tech technology so how did you got the job i honestly i want to say like i have uh, seen a post on your page that is job of fresher so from there i applied and from there like um, if i talk about interview and whole process like it just took uh, like one month and 20 days i got the offer mm. and after like one month i got the joining to my joining date was uh, 17 of august so right now like it's work from home or work from office uh, no no like txc has been given us uh, permanently work from home so it's okay, good for my team <laughs> so when you join uh, this particular company so how long the training period was Uh, for us, uh, the training period was one month. But some of my colleagues who have joined, mm-hmm. for them it at most took like one year to get into the project. It okay. depends upon like, like it basically depends upon how their performance was in the training. Mm-hmm. So some of them got early joining and some of them like have kept in waiting. Okay, so what's your position like? Uh, like I'm working as an L1.5 network engineer. So basically, I am like supporting. I'm supporting various clients over the world, like uh, their data center networks. So I'm managing uh, the router switches and firewall, firewall. But mm-hmm. like, you know, uh, like uh, there will be minimal downtime in their operation. So mm-hmm. we need to handle that. Okay, cool. Training was online or it's offline? Oh, no, no. Like whole process for us is online. From- okay. All the things are online. So yeah, you have completed course. your BCA. Then, uh, like, uh, what yeah. makes you enter into the networking domain? Because it's completely different domain from what you have studied, no, right? No, like I, I haven't, I haven't got the option to choose that. <laughs> like it's just a company bring me here. So like, yeah, but after I get, I am get into here. Like I really enjoy. Okay, so good. Cool. To learn mm-hmm. over here. How it is different from the domain? Like because you are from computers background, right? Because in BCA yeah, you have. Like, Learn about the computer science and all, and C, yeah, C plus like plus. Yeah, coding and all programming. Yeah. So in networking, so like, I think there is very less, uh, like coding thing. Yeah, like you can say, um, no coding as well. Mm. Only you have to run Python script sometime. Other yeah, than so that, I don't see any coding use there. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Right now, what's your current CTC? Now, uh, if you current, so my CTC is as I just mentioned in your page, it's three LP. So talking about your interview experience, so like, uh, what is the process? And like, how many rounds were the interview? Oh, there is only one round that is based on uh, both the t- uh, technical and HR round. So, and mm-hmm. they they have just take uh, my basic basic knowledge which I have learned under BCA and regarding some of the HR question like introduction and basic uh, strongest things and hobbies like that. That's only in the interview, nothing mm-hmm. much. Is there any aptitude round That's as well? Oh, yep, yep. Before that, we have got an aptitude round, so like mm-hmm. we have to clear that also. No, okay, so you can so... say oh, there is only a uh, two round of interview. Mm-hmm. It means like there will be an aptitude round and the interview. That's it, right? Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. So, what are the benefits uh, the company has given to you? Like benefits, if you can say, like just giving a work from home uh-huh. is the first benefit. <laughs> and also, like if you are into the uh, good project, you will get a lot of things to learn over here. So basically, if you can say regarding my uh, post and my level, I'm getting to learn a lot of things. Like you can say, our uh, various platform that are being used over here. Mm-hmm. I can't disclose some of the tools, but yeah, yeah, it's like great learning over here. Okay, cool. So, so like, uh, basically, I can say if someone go want to go into DevOps and cybersecurity, they can go from here. Mm-hmm. It does depend upon the person who want to learn. Okay, so what are your top five learning in this particular company? Like top five learning, you can say like I was totally new into the networking. So basically, mm-hmm. first of all, I go in the CCNA training, and from there I like get to know how actually network works. So Like if we talk about the application or or like the backend, we can say like how the technology works. Mm-hmm. Okay. And also like the various platform, like from there we can manage <clears throat> the things. Mm-hmm. And how is the working environment? Oh, it's good. Like for my project, it's 
totally good and like let them not then like in the instagram reels that are showing over the politics and that's all not in my group. so like uh, now what's your future plan then so uh, like basically i'm planning for two things like for one was devops and one in cyber security so i'm just mm-hmm. learning over here mm-hmm. like whichever the things goes good i will just jump into that mm, okay cool the company provides you some study material or some certification as well oh yep 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 like uh, they actually give a lot of chance for learning they have given as well linkedin learning and udemy learning so from mm-hmm. there you can learn various other things like uh, like free of cost no mm-hmm. cost for that mm-hmm. and okay. like in every week they send us some schedule for learning so you can just fill in from there okay cool so do you you don't have a plan to go for the higher studies or like to go for oh, no, no, like i'm doing my uh, higher studies like i'm currently pursuing my mc okay yeah also. so it's uh, like how did you go for that like it's weekend classes or like it's open oh no no like like it's a online distance learning program so i'm doing from it from home mm-hmm. so like uh, what message would you like to give to the candidate who are currently searching for the job or just graduated from their college like for them i just wanted to say if you want to get a job like don't put anything in the resume just put uh, what you have done and like don't work on the degree on like on exam just work on your skills like mm-hmm. company will gonna pay you if you got your skills that's mm-hmm. all i want to say mm-hmm. yeah. yeah like make a resume make a resume well not like someone from the size and copying from someone else uh-huh. just make it well not the fancy resume yeah so can can you make please uh, guide on the resume like any uh, like top five things what you what they should put on their resume so that it can be more beneficial for them like in the resume part you can say like don't make it a fancy like it's to look good in a colorful way just make it simple as that and yeah like uh, mention more of the project and the uh, work you have done and work mm-hmm. on your skills and other than like you know or uh, putting faults of the thing just put the true things which you have done because interviewer going to ask you the things from your resume that is showing being shown to him they mm-hmm. have to just work on that part yeah yeah cool that's a great uh, suggestion given by you and i hope the candidate who are watching this particular uh, video will uh, implement this thing in their resume okay so like uh, what do you think uh, self like, work from home is good or work from like office is good which which one it's what what, what if you are asking uh what are you having on office <laughs> I have just gone office for the one or two time, uh-huh. but I would say yeah, like if you want to develop your personality, it basically you can do it from work from home. Mm. And if you want to learn, like it can be done from both work from home, work from office. But for me, if I would say work from home is best. So because you get more time to work on yourself in yep, work yep, from yep. home, like and you also you know like I can use uh, the free time which I will waste in time in traveling, and that's all I can use in myself mm. to develop yeah. my skills. Yes. great and okay. so my friends are working in office uh-huh. so like for them i want to say yeah for them personal development is going in from work from office no. that's the only benefit i can see yes that's true that you get uh, get a chance yeah, to interact like with the colleagues too. yeah and you have also get the environment like that like right? okay so do you have any feedback for job for freshers like the page is doing well and yeah it's like posting every like i say can say every day so yeah it's a good opportunity for the candidate who are being following this page and yeah one thing i want to say like if you post some job so the candidate who are being looking for that just apply as soon as possible because the position is filled out yeah true if you are seeing some job post don't just save it in a instagram just apply as soon as mm, yes right yeah because uh, the application may get closed any time soon so whenever you post up, just up. try to apply as soon as possible okay and also uh, like you know uh, don't The same resume in all the application just mm. edit it like depend upon the job description you just edit your skills and project regarding that then just upload it that like that for yeah. the job needs it's very important to have a different resume for all the jobs like for, yeah. for all the position you are applying for yeah like what candidate usually do uh, they upload the same resume which they have made from like 5 or 6 months before <laughs> and yeah. then they all going to say like we are not getting call back Mm, like even they don't uh, like once they made a resume in their college days like after that they don't yeah, even they change don't even... anything from that particular thing. Yep, yep, yep. that yeah, is the biggest mind. mistake they do uh, while applying for yeah, these jobs because they are uh, like lakhs of the candidates are applying for their particular same uh, job right all have all of them have the same resume same skills then why they would like to there is something need to be in the resume that need to be like make them stand out from the others mm, yes true uh 
it was great talking to you Saif and like it, there was a okay, time yeah. constraint but definitely in future we will like connect again yep and, sure 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 anytime yeah. and thank you very much for joining in it was great talking to you yep, thank you same here as well